Hello, my name is Ilona and this is my third episode and I want to talk about what the white hats are doing because I was talking about the black hats in my last episode and the white hats are doing the same things the black hats are doing but for a different reason. They are helping us, they are helping us humans, humanity to liberate us but the biggest uh, thing that we have to do is to liberate ourselves. They help us, but they're not here to tell us what to do. They are here to support us. They, uh, the white heads, of course, are uh, leaders from certain countries. Uh, there are off-worlders helping out uh, spiritual, um, how to say, forces. They are helping us out because if something happens here, it will affect pretty much everything. So uh, the universe and the multi-universe. So they are really like, yeah, we need to do something about this because this is getting out of control. So the white hats have put people in positions that it may look at first that they're dark hats and they're working with the dark forces, but then at crucial moments or very important moments, they will do make a decision or do something that actually will help the white hats and will uh, bring forth their what their plan is and their plan is to liberate us to help us become strong again and to step into our own authority although we have to do that we have we are the ones that will have to work with our own energy and that is actually the most important part that we can do but the white sets are taking control over the, uh, the, the the money system they're making sure that the dark energies do not get any more money for, the, for all the things they were doing. They're taking over that. They even have a new system in place. And we first have to wait for the old system to fall down, but then the new system with money will come in and it will, people will have more than enough money and uh, they will be controlling their own money themselves. So we won't be forced to give away our money somewhere else so that someone else is uh, actually deciding what's going to happen with our money we will be controlling our own money so that's a different system that's already working if i'm not mistaken but it will uh, the system will come when the old system will fall so they're working on that they are working on um, uh, taking care of uh, certain places i'm sure you've heard about uh, the Ukraine, what's happening there? Well, the media make it sound like the leader of Russia is a very bad person and just wants to take over the country of the Ukraine. And that is not true. The leader of Russia is part of the White Hats and he's actually there to take care of certain laboratories that they have. They were making things that were making people sick and he just didn't want that anymore. So he just... He, he went over there to take care of that. So he's really helping us. He's really helping humans so we do not get sick anymore or that the dark energies do not have that anymore to make us sick. So they're helping in that part. Uh, they are uh, showing things and that may sound really strange. Why are the white hats showing things and maybe not just stepping in? Well, this has to do with what I've mentioned before. This is about us humans understanding who we are we are part of source we are part of god we are spiritual beings we are in a body but if our body leaves you know if, if the body uh, how do you say that we don't have a body anymore we're still there we still have our soul so we don't really die we we just are and that's very important to understand because the dark energies they are very afraid of death in a way that's why they're always focused on death and they made us believe that there's not going to be a lot after death or that maybe we'll go somewhere after death. They have all these explanations to keep us focused on the fact that we'll die. And it, it has terrified a lot of people. And that's their plan to make us into little robots and to suggest to us that we will live forever you know, for them, working for them. And that's not what we want to do. But we are spiritual beings, so in a way, we are always there. We do not die. And that's very important to understand that we start working with that energy. 
maybe you felt things that you can do more than you think that if you think about something you could actually see it in front of you you could actually touch it and i think we are really going into this new world this new energy where that will be possible so all the things that we were capable of that we can start doing them all these incredible things like if you want to visit someone you just think about them and then you're there that's the amazing thing we are very very powerful and we can use that energy that the dark forces have been using we can use them for ourselves and for what we want to create the beautiful new world with connection with love with caring well at least that's what i'm longing for and i'm sure you are as well that's the world we want to create we do not want that dark energy with that world that awful world that's really about survival and and uh, it's just an awful cold world we really want this warm beautiful world and that's what the white hats are helping us with so they're helping out taking care of all these influences from these dark hats they are taking it away from us from our media from the financial system the medical system a lot of things are going to come out about are really about our health and that we are really capable of healing ourselves we have that power so it's very important we can help and and support ourselves with things from nature we have herbs we have all kinds of things that can support us and it's very important that we start looking at that and that we start to understand that we also like i've mentioned we have this self-healing we can heal ourselves we are very very powerful we just don't feel that way and of course the dark energies have really been uh, tricking us in believing that we don't have that power. And now it's it's kind of coming back to us. That's what this great awakening is about. It's awakening to understanding how powerful we are and what we can all do and what amazing things we can create. So the white hats are here to make sure that the, the puppets are being controlled or at least they're going to make sure at one point in time we really are now in a very chaotic period. I'm sure you've noticed that prices for food, maybe you wanted to buy something in the shop and you were like, well, this is a lot of money and things are changing. Maybe you've heard, of course, you maybe your parents talking about the bills for the electricity and the gas that it's all going up and there's a lot of things going on now and it's it's we are ending the kind of war that's been going on for so long between the black hats the white hats and of course about really our soul our energy because that's what the war is about and it's kind of it's it's nearing it's it, it's nearing the end so we're going to see it more and more around us and it's very important to understand that of course the white hats could have stepped in sooner but then a lot of people wouldn't be able to understand and maybe think that the white hats were the problem and would start fighting them so it's very important to understand that the white hats are trying to show people how far the dark energies have been in you know affecting our lives where they are and what their true plan is so more and more people are starting to understand there is at least there is something wrong so they won't start fighting the white hats when they do uh, take over in a way and they're not going to take over that they're going to take over our lives but they there's going to be a moment that the military will take over to make sure that all the puppets are uh, i'd say removed and uh, that we can really uh, truth will come out things will come out so it's very important to understand that it's going to be chaotic but truly you are a child of god we are all part of source there is nothing we have to fear we are safe and trust because that's the most important part if you trust in your heart it's going to be all right that is what you're going to manifest and we are really heading towards this beautiful new world, this beautiful new energy where we'll be able to do way more of these amazing things. And it, it will be gradual, maybe even fast. I'm not sure how that will work, but we will start working with those, uh, uh, yeah, how do you say this, um, 
the powers that we have. We will be uh, more open, uh, more connected with each other because all those dark energies will be gone. So that's really important to understand. And there will be technology to help us. The technology we have, we are not aware of. I believe there will be free energy, which is something amazing. So we don't have to pay for that. And uh, things will change, of course, with the financial systems and with a lot of systems. So that's going to happen. So it's could, can still get rough, it can still get scary, but know in your heart that you are loved, that you are a child of God, you are a child of source, and you will be fine. You will be fine. And that's the most important part, because if we really believe that we really know that, we're going to manifest that, because we are that powerful. That's why it's so important to truly feel that you are safe, and that you will be fine. And I think it's also very comforting to know that, uh, of course, when the energies are changing, I do think that later on we will be able to talk to people that have already left us and we'll be able to communicate with them. And I, I'm really looking forward to that. So no one really dies. We need to understand that as well. We are spiritual beings and in a way we live forever. <laughs> so that's why they wanted our energies because we are so powerful. They want the dark energies who have disconnected themselves from source, from God, wanted that energy for themselves because they don't have that energy anymore. And that is their choice to disconnect them. But we are connected. And it's very important because that's really what we are supposed to do is really feel that connection within ourselves. If we do that, we feel safe. We know we are safe. We are going to be safe and it's going to be all right. And, and maybe this chaotic per period won't be as chaotic as some people are saying it's going to be. We just don't know. We don't know when it's going to happen. We do know that it's going to happen, but when it's very difficult to say. But really just feel in your heart it's going to be all right. That's the most important part. And the white hats are doing their parts. They're making sure this uh, world is uh, getting safer, that the dark energies will be gone. And it's up to us. It's up to us to awake to our own power and to really believe that it's going to be all right and really start manifesting that. So important. Just really connect with the people around you with uh, your family uh, maybe with friends really feel that connection that is so important because you know we are not alone and you are not alone and we're going to be all right we will get through this and we are going to be be in this incredible energy with this new world ahead of us with all these possibilities and this beautiful connection so that's really something to look forward to. I'd like to leave it at this. See you in another video. Bye bye.